one of the biggest pains in the butt when it comes to resume creation is properly formatting your skills section. It gets complicated because Word is temperamental to begin with. But also, while we can use various ways to achieve what looks like the same result, only one way actually works well and works well consistently. So a few things that you want to avoid when building your skills list. Number one is tabbing like this. Number two is spacing like this. And finally, the last technique that you wanna use are text boxes. I see this a lot on resumes and you really wanna avoid that. So um, a text box looks like this. So maybe you've done something like this or seen someone do something like this and then creating a few of them and creating a column out of creating columns out of them. Yeah, we want to avoid that. So why do we want to avoid these? Um, with tabbing and spacing, the results will be messy and inconsistent, especially if you're applying online. What will come out the other end, what the recruiter, or the hiring manager sees is going to be a mess. Text boxes are even worse because text boxes are not actually digestible by online application forms. So we want to truly avoid those. What works well is using the column feature in Word. So let me walk you through this process. First of all, what we wanna do is make sure that we're listing all of our skills and you can just list them one after the other after the other. Make sure you're using numbers that are divisible by three or four so that you can have even columns and an even number of rows in those columns. I recommend no more than 16 skills. The reason for this is going beyond 16 skills, you're starting to dilute the impact of those skills that you're listing. So we have all of our skills listed and then what we wanna do is we want to highlight this skills list. Then go to the page layout menu and select columns. Once you're there, you want to make sure that you use more columns, no matter the number of columns that you want to add. And I'll tell you why. So now that we're in more columns, this gives us more features where we can really do some good formatting for our columns. So let's say we have 16 skills like this. I want to create four columns of four skills each. So what I do is I type in four for my number of columns and I tab, but I don't stop there because of font sizing or the length of skill, um, number of characters in a skill, the spacing might need to be minimized. So in order to do that, what I do right away is I just make this point one. So this, allows us to minimize the spacing in between columns and maximize how long some of our skills can be in terms of letters and characters. So for example, oftentimes my clients will have relationship management as a skill. That's a very long skill when we count the characters. So I really need that space in between my columns so that I can accommodate it. And then I click OK. And there are my 16 skills perfectly formatted for my resume. So all you have to do is, in my case, fill out the skills. In your case, you probably already have the skills listed. And then if you're changing the skills and customizing the skills list for your job application, which you should be doing every single time, you can just swap ones that are needed in and then take out ones that aren't needed for that particular job. I do not recommend dragging skills around. This will uh, cause issues with the, the column formatting. So just delete and then re-add.